Hello children. Let's learn little bit more about physical change and chemical change. What is the difference between the two changes? What are their uses? Can we stop certain changes? Let us find it out together. As we know, when ice is melted, water is formed. And the water can be changed into ice by freezing. So, it is a reversible change and we call it a physical change. But when a paper is burnt, we cannot get back paper from the burnt paper that is ash, right? We call it a irreversible change or a chemical change. Here a new substance was formed that is ash. A chemical change is also called a chemical reaction. Changes keep happening around us. Like with age, we grow old, get white hair and may also put on weight, right? We all make many changes in real life. But how would we know whether it is a physical change or a chemical change? How do we recognize a substance? It is simple. Seeing the color, this is red and this is white or by smell as for example good or bad or we can tell the difference after tasting them like sweet or bitter. Properties such as shape, size, color and state of a substance are called its physical properties. You must have seen your mother making roti or a chapati from the dough. First she divided the dough into many small balls and then she rolls out a round chapati from the dough using the rolling pin. What all changes do you observe? Uncooked chapati smells like dough. Color hasn't changed. Only the shape has changed. That is a physical property has changed. If the chapati shape doesn't come out round your mother may make a small ball out of it and roll it again using the rolling pin. Or at times she might put it back if no more chapati is required. And to make the chapati ready for eating, your mother cooks the chapati on fire using a tawa that is griddle. Cooked chapati tastes different from uncooked roti. The smell is also changed and even color. And can we get back the dough from the cooked chapati? No, we cannot get back dough from the cooked chapati as the dough has changed into an entirely new substance due to the use of heat that is the cooked chapati. So cooking a chapati is a chemical change. How are the changes useful for us? You must have seen the tools used for digging up the soil. How is iron blade in these tools fixed to the wooden handle so tightly that they remain fixed and don't fall off while using? You know, the iron blade of these tools has a ring in which the wooden handle is fixed. Normally, the ring is made smaller in size than the size of the wooden handle. To fix the handle, the iron ring is heated and it becomes slightly larger in size. This is called as expansion. Now the handle easily fits into the ring. When the ring cools down, it contracts that is reduces in size and hence it fits tightly around the wooden handle. So we see by expansion due to heating and then contraction due to cooling, the iron undergoes a physical change and the tools are made. Even chemical changes are very important in our lives. All new substances are formed as a result of chemical changes. A medicine is the end product of a chain of chemical reaction. Useful new materials such as plastics and soaps are produced by chemical reactions. 
सो वी नो मैनी टाइप्स ऑफ चेंजेस आर यूजफुल टू अस बट चेंजेस आर नॉट गुड ऑलवेज हैव यू ऑब्जर्व सम ब्राउन सब्सटेंस डिपॉजिट ऑन आयरन गेट्स और ग्रिल्स वॉट इज दैट यू नो इफ यू कीप एन आयरन ऑब्जेक्ट इन एन ओपन एटमोसफियर a brown layer develops on it which is known as rust we know rust is useless and makes the iron object useless like we don't cook in a rusty utensil this is one change that affects iron articles and slowly destroys them since iron is used in making bridges ships cars trucks bodies and many other articles the loss due to rusting is huge similarly rotting of food or food becoming stale is also a undesirable change as it spoils the nutrition in food and makes food inedible that is not useful for eating we know food is valuable can we stop this change so when we learn about changes we must learn how to stop undesired changes which make loss for us there is some condition required for all types of changes like the microbes rot the food in presence of air and warmth in case of rust the iron needs water vapor from air in order to get rusted as iron participates in a chemical reaction with oxygen and water vapor in the air the process of rusting can be represented as iron plus oxygen plus water equal to rust the rust is a new substance formed this is because the atoms from one molecule finds atom from other kind of molecule to make a new combination let us see what happened at the molecular level so that a new substance that is the rust is formed we already know water molecule being a compound has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen also oxygen is an element and oxygen has two atoms of oxygen iron is represented by fe a series of chemical reaction takes place to form the rust for simplification the process of rusting can be represented by this equation iron that is fe plus oxygen o2 from the air plus water that is h2o forms rust that is iron oxide or fe2o3 for rusting the presence of both oxygen and water that is water vapor is essential as we see oxygen atoms move to form a new combination with iron and we get a new substance rust rust is iron oxide with formula fe2o3 in fact if the content of moisture in the air is high which means if it is more humid the rusting becomes faster now you must have understood why rusting is more near the coastal areas because it's humid how do we stop or prevent the undesired changes which we don't require well to stop a change we need to stop the condition which make the change like we can put a layer of something on iron so that it does not come in the contact with air and doesn't get rusted for that we can paint the iron object now you know why iron gates or grills of windows are painted apart from their better looks nowadays zinc nickel layers are also put on the iron to stop rusting this process of depositing a layer of zinc on iron 
is called galvanization you know the iron pipes we use in our homes to carry water are galvanized to prevent the rusting as we know microbes grow when the food gets moisture oxygen and warmth if any of these are not there the food will not rot or get stale so how do we prevent the food from rotting if we keep the leftover food in fridge there is no warmth for microbes to grow or if we dry the food so there is no moisture also the food items are canned so that there is no oxygen adding preservatives to food like salt sugar oil which are used in pickles deters the growth of microbe and help in increasing the shelf life of food items so now you all must be knowing why pickles can be used for a long time so understand and stop the condition of a change if you don't want that change to happen to summarize changes can be of two types physical and chemical physical changes are changes in the physical properties of the substances no new substances are formed in these changes these changes may be reversible but in chemical changes new substances are produced a chemical change is also called as chemical reaction changes keeps happening all around us and in some changes to stop the changes we can stop the condition which causes the change and that change won't occur that's all in this video bye bye children